Hi guys, welcome back to Cozy Cottage Cross Stitch. My name's Donna. So today I thought I would just come back and do a little bit more colouring with yourselves. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more of this picture where we left off the other day. Um, so I've picked my colours out. And we have the right colours here again. Um, so for the hair we're using this one which is brown grey shades and we're going to start with the dark so I'm just going to continue with the hair like I was doing before so how are you all hope you're all okay Not um, not really much been happening this end. Uh, not really much to talk about. Um, apart from I've been to the dentist this morning. Um, for those of you that know me, you know that I suffer with fibromyalgia. Um, and one side effect of fibro is uh, losing your teeth as you get older. I have um, lost a few of my teeth now not through not taking care of them obviously just simply because of the fibro. I take good care of my teeth, always have done uh, but when I go into the dentist now and they take x-rays I have um, like big shadows in my gums where it just seems to be empty there's nothing there and the teeth are dying they've got no feeling in them anymore um, and then shortly after that happening they just break and fall out so I had um, a little while ago, well a little while ago, a couple of years ago when I was in Basildon, I was with a dentist then um, and they wanted to remove one side of my teeth at the top um, just simply because they was dying off and obviously they was going to cause me a lot of problems they wanted to remove them all so then we moved up this end and i got a new dentist he's he done everything he can possibly to try and save them which worked for a little while i've had root canal done and fillings and you name it it's been done but um sadly after all his hard work um, I had one tooth that the shadow in the gum wouldn't disappear um, and the teeth was becoming very loose and wobbly which was causing me a lot of not pain I wouldn't say but a lot of discomfort because they was loose and I would get pain sort of up the front of my face from where my teeth were um, so he decided that um, he was going to remove one of the teeth that had the shadow in, in the gum above it, the one that he tried to do the root canal treatment on um, and it hadn't worked. We waited a year to see if the shadow in would disappear and it didn't work so uh, he decided to remove it but because it's kind of at the front side of my mouth he gave me um, a plate to put in with that tooth on so it wouldn't look like I've just lost a tooth and not bothered with my teeth you know and uh, that was all okay I've got used to wearing that all the time now and 
eating with it etc it did take a while to get used to and then uh, I was sitting here a couple of days ago and thought to myself oh what's that I've got something stuck in my tooth went to check in the mirror because me fiddling around with it and getting me now in there I couldn't get it out and uh, yeah discovered that the tooth had actually split in half from the top to the bottom from up in the gum down to the bottom of the tooth so we uh, had to go to the dentist this morning and um, he's filled it for now but as we now know it doesn't last long so it's only a temporary fix um, and I'm going to have to go back in three months time and decide what I want to have done with it if I want it removed and that tooth also putting onto a plate which is probably what's going to happen but he did say to me today that um, that means I've only got one tooth left that side now so he did say to me would I like to have a bigger plate put in um, and have all the teeth that side put onto the plate so obviously it'd be easier for me to eat and stuff but it's gonna take a while to get used to obviously so that's all fun but, um, yeah so my mouth is a little bit numb at the moment from having half of a tooth built back up but hey ho these things have to be done don't they so I don't know about any of you guys does it any of you guys suffer with fibro do you have problems with your teeth because of it I know there's a uh, a fibro group on Facebook and I know a few people have said about um, does anybody else get trouble with their teeth are they losing their teeth and and I thought no I'm not yet and yeah lo and behold yeah it started happening so all fun so you try and better yourself try and do everything that you can you know, gentle exercises and things and you know to help your body and stop aches and pains and things like that and then you start losing all your teeth instead uh, I think it's just one of them horrible degrading things to have to deal with and to live with and to be told that you'll probably get worse as you get older because you've got all your normal aches and pains and things on top but the way I see it is you ain't putting me down until I physically can't move anymore uh, oh, I'm gonna fight it all the way obviously I'm a lot um, limited to what I can do at the moment I've had to give up work sadly and hate it I'm not one for sitting still and not doing anything I like to be up and about and doing stuff all the time but unfortunately now I can't Uh, never mind life goes on as they say so we just as you can see I've been over with the dark and then the lighter shade and now this is the lightest one so we're just going back in and colouring straight over everything that we've just done and dragging the colours out uh, 
Um, I wanted to ask you ladies, um, a lot of you have joined the Facebook group and I am so grateful and thank you for your love and support. It means the world to me, it really does. Um, but please, please, please don't be afraid to share your stuff on the group with us. You know, um, that's the whole reason for opening up the group so we can share our projects with each other you know help each other out have a bit of a giggle I know there's lots of groups out there that you can also do the same with but um, I just wanted to try and do something a little bit different with yourselves you know so we can share bits and pieces that we're doing and you know if anyone needs help from anybody else or needs advice on something or you know hey guys I'm doing this today what do you think you know I'd love to see your work I'm a crafter at heart through and through so you know it's really really lovely to be able to see your work as well see what you're all up to what you're creating uh, I did leave the links in the last video for these um, chibi tarot cards I don't know if any of you have actually bought any for yourselves I think they're absolutely gorgeous it is a lot of coloring to do um, I'm only doing a couple a week at the moment so it will take time to get through them all obviously there's 56 cards in all um, but I just wanted to get them because I love pictures like these with the little chibis in them I think they're absolutely adorable um, I've always bought pictures like these off of Etsy and a couple of other places that are more popular which I won't name on here for obvious reasons um, but I've always loved them I've always used them in my crafting you know to put on cards and things like that so I love to colour with them. Colouring in is such a peaceful, relaxing time for me. But um, yeah, I just wondered if any of you guys had uh, actually bought any for yourselves. Or if you liked them and thought, oh yeah, they're nice, I might grab some of them. be nice to see if you have and if you're colouring anything in or even if it's not these then you know if you spend your time colouring then share on the group what you're colouring in and you know you might give us some ideas that you know oh I really like them where did you get that from you know But it would be nice if we could get to the stage, ladies, where we can sit and do a live on Facebook or YouTube. Um, would be really nice, you know, to get a few of us together and have a chin wag while we're sitting colouring or doing diamond painting or something like that, you know would be really nice and not only is it me that gets to know a few more of you ladies out there um, because I know we're all crafters but we don't really know each other as such it's only through crafting YouTube Facebook so it would be really nice to get to know you you know 
obviously if you don't want to divulge into your personal life that's understandable but you know just get to know who you are what crafts you like doing so we can relate to you know that person oh yeah she's a lovely lady you know she makes the cards like this and you know would be really really great to get to come on and do a live and speak to you ladies so if you're all interested in that sort of thing then leave comments on the videos leave comments on the group you know say hey Donna can we all get together one night and do a live where we can do some colouring together and have a chat and a giggle I think it'd be great really do all right so as you can see that's the hair done most of it oh we have round the face to do so let's bring this down obviously it's dark there because the front of the hood so bring that dark down from where the hood comes over As the hood will cast a natural shadow anyway uh, let's do these a couple of little bits on here But this, um, this group that I've created, guys, you know, it is for everybody. It's not just for me, it's for you guys as well. So, you know, if there's things that you would like to share on the group or you can say, hey, Donna, how, how would you feel about this? What if we done some of this? Or, you know, the group's been created for you as well. So it would be lovely to get your feedback and see what sort of things you would like to see in the group if I know you guys are enjoying the group and there's things on there that you guys want to see and you want to do then that's excellent because I know what sort of content then to put onto the group. Um, if the group just sits here and I'm just constantly commenting on it all the time and don't get no feedback from you guys, then I don't know what you like, I don't know what content to put on the group, etc. So just come on have a chat with everybody on the group you know as I said we can all get together we can do a live then that way you guys are not only talking to me on a live but you can chat with each other on the live so would be really nice I think if that's the sort of thing that you guys would like let me know don't be afraid to comment on the group either that's what I wanted to say um, as I said this group is for you not just for me if one person starts talking on the group then everybody else is going to start joining in uh, don't be afraid to show your work don't be afraid to talk I think we all join groups thinking you know oh it'd be nice to get on there and we can have a laugh and stuff like that and you're like oh but I'm so scared I don't want to be the first one to say anything on the group and but that's what we're there for and it would be lovely to get some responses from you guys and have a chat a couple of ladies that I've been chatting to through messenger from off the group 
um, lovely ladies I won't mention no names just in case um, they don't want their names mentioned um, but it has been really really nice to talk to you ladies and I think for a long time when you don't do these things you kind of get out of whack of doing them and you kind of lose contact with a lot of people so it's nice for everyone to get together As you can see again went in with the dark and just coming over with the medium shade and then just go back in with the light and drag those colors towards each other getting this okay I've tried to bring the camera down as close as I can without it kind of distorting and going funny um, I'm sorry if it tries to sort of keep zooming in and out and, and focus um, what I was going to say as well is um, a few of you may already be subbed to me on um, YouTube um, but this channel is a completely different channel to the old one that I have the old one is Don's Crafty Delights and this one is the cozy cottage so if you haven't already when you go onto YouTube please subscribe to the channel it would help me immensely to see what sort of content you guys like you know if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you're enjoying what's on the channel and you want to see more then ring the little bell that will notify you every time I upload a video so you don't miss none of the content that's being uploaded but as I said if you subscribe to the channel that's great because then that helps me I can see who's on there who likes what videos do have a tendency to kind of go around the arms and things first so I don't um, go over the lines so much when I'm colouring 
try to stay away from them as much as I can. Um, so what are you guys doing at the moment? Are you crafting? Are you chilling in front of the telly? I like to um, spend a lot of my time as well when I'm sitting in front of the telly. Um, I might be crocheting, normally doing something or other or doing a bit of cross stitch or designing patterns for you guys see this all right I keep working my way back up the top of the desk near the monitor I'm thinking hang on a minute they can't see cameras down this side Again, I probably won't spend ages and ages with you guys on this today because uh, colouring like this does take some time and if the videos get too long then people get bored with them and don't want to watch them anymore. So it may be a case of just coming back to you know, do little bits and pieces with you guys and just finishing off this picture. As you can see for yourself how nicely alcohol markers blend in together and don't leave any lines and streaks and things all over the place.
and you don't have to be particularly fussy with them either as you can see I'm not I'm not colouring in lines or anything I'm just literally going in and just colouring just scribbling colouring in just spreading them colours out through each other may look a bit streaky when you first do it but it's only because they are so um, they have a lot of moisture in should I say I didn't want to say something that sounded really rude then the pens are quite damp and have a lot of moisture because of the alcohol in them but once it's dried you won't see any of the streaks and stuff on there That's the good thing about them. starting to get a bit darker in here now as well I have to put a light on in a second or see how long we've actually done today in the video yep we're on 32 minutes already guys so we may have to call this a day in a moment As I said, if we go for too long on a video, it will uh, get a bit boring for you guys. So, and as I said, from day to day, there's only so much that goes on in life. So, but then if we do a live and you guys come on and chat with me, then we'll have loads to talk about. And we get to meet you guys and you know say hi how are you doing what are you up to and if we do lives as well uh, what we could also do is if we do them on YouTube you can also leave links to your YouTube channels for those of you that craft and want some more subbies you can leave a link to your YouTube channel in the chat box and anyone else that's in the group can go to your channel and give you a sub which would be nice for you guys as well and then later when I've done the video I can also go back through the video and go and sub with you guys as well I know a lot of you I'm probably already subbed to um, but for those of you that I'm not it would be nice to have a look at your YouTube channels and see what stuff you do whether it's diamond art or floss tube as they call it cross stitch um, or whether you crochet or do knitting or painting artwork you know whatever you're up to would be nice to come and have a nosy so 
so please 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 guys just you know if one of you make that effort to put that foot forward first and start interacting on the group then I'm sure a lot more people will start interacting as well as I said this group is for you guys um, the more interaction we get the more we can start doing on the group you know we can start doing some competitions and there may be prizes and things for you guys to win not saying I'm going to do competitions and you guys are going to get prizes every week because that is going to be a no-no but special occasions um, seasons and things you know holidays Christmases and stuff you know I might do a few little competitions and you guys can uh, join in and you might be able to win yourself some goodies and a few patterns along the way if you what I would probably do with a competition because there is so many different guys on here that all do different things is I would probably do a collection of prizes for different crafts um, I'd probably have a diamond painting one um, I'd probably do an art one um, and probably like a, a cross stitch one so you'd have a choice between three and it would be a case of um, leave your name in the comments of whatever the competition may be and tell me what prize you would prefer whether it would be one two or three so it would be like prize one would be like diamond art kit prize two would be a little art kit prize three could be a cross stitch kit prize four might be like a little crafting kit or but along those lines but I'm not um, as I said I'm not going to start doing these competitions and things if you guys don't want to interact and can't be bothered with the group so as I said I don't mind putting myself out but I want to know that it's what you guys want and that it's going to be worth my time and effort doing I hope it is because I really 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 do hope that you guys want to do this group as much as I do and you know we can all have a bit of fun with it so there you go we've done a bit more today um, I'll leave it there for now today because we're on 40 minutes now and uh, I will come back in a few days and probably do a bit more with you guys um, but I have some bits and pieces I want to do I've got some cross stitching that I want to get in I've got some diamond art in that I want to get in so but please guys leave your comments and things under the video don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel um, hit the like button and hit that bell if you want to be notified of any more videos um, please 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 if you come over to the Facebook group all of you are very welcome just interact you know share share your projects share your loves and your hobbies that you enjoy doing and we can all enjoy these bits together and help each other and craft and show some inspiration and you know we could have a great time so please leave me your thoughts and things and yeah that's it for today guys and i will speak to you again really soon so love to you all bye for now